Good afternoon, fourth graders. Um, today we're going to look at about making an inference off our book, <clears throat> The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind. So yesterday in your online kind of activity sheet, you were supposed to ponder a question. The question was, what made William have the determination to build an electric windmill? So remember, when we are answering questions like this, we are doing the ACE model, okay? We are going to answer the question. Then we're going to cite. That means I'm going to give evidence from my story. And I'm going to explain why I picked that answer. <clears throat> so just like you, I don't have access to all the books that I normally had at school. There was no way for me to bring all my books from school to my house. Okay. So what I'm having to do is just like you, on my um, iPad here that I have at home, I have the story pulled up. So you're going to have to do the same thing with your Chromebook. Turn it, turn it on. So I kind of been kind of pausing and um, slowing down the video, the YouTube video of, of the, the teacher reading that book. So that helped me get the answer. So I need to kind of talk out my answer. So if you look on that first page of the story, it says, <clears throat> so in the story, it says on that first page, in a small village in Maui, where people had no money for lights, nightfall came quickly and hurried poor farmers to bed. But for William, the darkness was best for dreaming. Okay, so electric windmill. Hmm, didn't have money for electric at night, okay? So then I'm going to use the bottom, the red, the red dot, okay? And I'm going to get to the page where the family, um, if you remember from the video, there's a page there. Um, I don't know the page numbers because I don't have the actual book. So, but I'm going to go to that page where I'm going to use that red dot at the bottom. Um, while it's on pause, and I'm going to find that page where the family was kind of sitting in a circle, okay? <clears throat> and then it says, soon William's father gathered the children and said, from now on, we eat only one meal per day. Make it last. In the evenings, they sat around the lantern and ate their handfuls, watching hungry people pass like spirits along the roads. They had to make the food last. Hmm. Have you ever been in a situation where you had to make the food last? Okay, and then I'm gonna go to that next page. I love how these this the, the reader of this book um, made the words big when you pause it. Okay. Money also disappeared with the rain. Rani, his father said. Rani, his father said, I'm sorry, you will have to drop out of school. Now William stood at the road and watched the lucky students pass. Alone with the monster in his belly and the lump in his throat, for weeks he sulked under the mango tree until he remembered the library down the road, a gift from the Americans. Hmm. So let's go back to our questions. Now that we've looked at that evidence and we talked about the evidence, what made William have the determination to build an electric mill? I forgot to say wind. I forgot to say wind. So I think, so the, town was so poor they couldn't have electric they had to save their food and he this story i believe takes place in africa <clears throat> and he didn't have where they have to pay to go to school we're lucky that we live in a country that we don't have to pay to go to school so they no longer had the money to send william to school so i think we can make an inference there that william's family was very what did you say poor? I hope you did. <clears throat> what made William have the determination to build an electric 
mill. So now I'm gonna answer, and I'm gonna do it in blue. William had the termination to build an electric windmill and I think it's because he wants to help to help his family and neighborhood have money for the things they need. Okay. So I wrote that in blue because in <clears throat> my classroom, we were starting to write the answers in blue. So sight means I'm going to give text evidence, okay? I have to copy a sentence from the story that proves the answer I picked. The story said, comma, quote, and I'm going to the page that the family was was sitting around the, the like kind of sitting in a circle together, kind of like a family meeting, but they're having a family meal. <clears throat> William's father gathered the children and said, and then I'm going to put one quote because I'm quoting a quote from now on we eat only one meal per day make it last. Okay, and so I'm going to put a single quote because I quoted that quote, and then I think I have to put a double quote marks from where I was my quote. Okay, so now I did my site. I gave an example from the story, but now I'm going to go to purple. I need to explain my answer. Why did I pick that? Okay. So in that other, the page right after where he's sitting by the tree and he looks really sad, okay? It said, for weeks he sulked under the mango tree until he remembered the library down the road, a gift from the Americans. Hmm. William had the determination to build an electric windmill to help his family and neighbors. Oop, need an S there. That's why I go back and reread. Neighbors to help his family and neighbors have money for things they need, like food, because they 
Just like here, you have to pay for electricity. He could sell that electricity to other towns. The story said soon, William's father gathered the children and said, from now on, we only, we eat only one meal per day. Make it last. And then remember here, when I explain, I can go, I think. I think William was determined because he wanted to help his family and also wanted to go back to school. Man, and don't we know right now how that feels. We can, there's definitely a connection here. We know how that feels. A lot of us about really wanting to go back to school and be back with our friends, okay? So, again, this is on the story, The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind. The question was, what made William have the determination to build an electric windmill? We answered, we did a site, and we explained. William had the determination to build an electric windmill to help his family and neighbors have money for the things they need, okay? The story said, soon William's father gathered the children and said, from now on, we only, we eat only one meal per day, make it last. I think William was determined because he wanted to help his family and also he wanted, okay, to go back to school. And I got to fix that, that T. It's kind of hard doing this a little bit sideways. That looks a little bit better, to school. Well, I hope this helps you learn how to do a better inference question. Tomorrow's video will be by Mrs. Uchler. Have a great day. Bye, guys.